Let's go ahead and send it and see what we can uh, we can do with it. Charge the enemy! Yes! Okay, go, 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 go! Ram it! Ready? Three, two, one! Alrighty, hello guys! Welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Sprocket yet again, and today I actually have an idea for a tank that is kind of crazy, to be honest. We're gonna go ahead and build something that has a very, very short barrel that we ram into the enemies and then blow them away. I don't know how to explain what it is other than sort of like a claymore tank, but uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna go ahead and do today. If you're looking at this tank in the background and wondering what it is, this was actually built in my previous video and you guys should definitely check it out. It is actually pretty awesome. Anyway, let's go ahead and get building, shall we? Okie dokie, so what do we actually want to do with this thing then? Now let's go to compartments, go to freeform holes and do this. There we go, that is the first thing that I want to do. I'm then going to go ahead and make this thing into a square instead and that is awesome. From there we're going to go to firepower, we're going to go to mantlets and we're going to go ahead and just drag one of these guys onto there, just like this, and we're gonna go ahead and load up a cannon that will hopefully fit in there. Now, I'm not entirely sure what it would be. I guess 600 millimeters is gonna be about the size that we want, and we're gonna go ahead and make the barrel length a hell of a lot shorter. It is essentially gonna be like that. That's crazy. Okay, so yes, now that we've actually got this marked out, let's go ahead and figure out where we want it to be. I'm actually going to go ahead and put it quite low on this guy, and then we're going to go ahead and try and fit everything to it. So go ahead and drop this down, there we go, Make sure, oh, making sure that this fits directly in the center of there, that'd be awesome. And uh, yeah, it actually does. Cool. Okay, so from there, let's go ahead and drag this guy sideways like so. Yes, go ahead and extend this guy out the edges. There we go. And we're also going to go ahead and box this in because uh, I think that's probably the best way to sort of defend it. So let's go ahead and squidge these guys down together. There we go. Extend this little bit too. There we go. Awesome. And do it again and again and again until it all fits in. I think that's actually pretty awesome. We'll leave it pretty much just like that. Alright, so since we don't actually want this guy to move at all, essentially, we're going to go ahead and drag this guy down to there. We're actually going to go ahead and put it on a big spike, and I think that will end up being really cool. Um, the reason I'm doing that is because if we get shot, uh, we essentially need to make sure <laughs> um, that we have some sort of angle in the front. That's why I'm doing that. Okay, so now that we've got that done, let's go back to mobility. Go ahead and put this guy right there. Go ahead and fit this across the top. And we'll go ahead and do the rest of it as well, which I guess is actually adding this guy to here. I'm going to make this sprocket a lot bigger, so diameter of this guy a lot bigger. And we'll leave that back there like so. This actually, so far, is looking pretty cool. Uh, idler, let's go ahead and make that a little bit bigger too. There we go, awesome. And try and fit this into position, which is right there. Nice. Okay, so, uh, I would actually like for this thing to actually fit, but to be real, uh, 600mm caliber gun is way too big for a tank, so, uh, I guess we're just not gonna worry about space in this one, uh, and hopefully we could come up with something nice anyway. But yeah, let's go to edges, go ahead and split this guy, uh, if we can, so go to edges and split it, there we go, go to edges and split it again, and we're gonna go from about here and start building in some sort of, um... I don't really know, actually. Some sort of <laughs> um, thing. Some sort of thing. This is essentially where the driver's going to go. So we're going to extend this guy upwards. And we're also actually just going to go ahead and send it backwards like this. Um, it is a bit weird, but that's kind of how I wanted it to be. So there you go. Uh, with that being said, I would also actually love to do this too. Um, but that might look a little bit weird. Especially at the back, you know? Especially for this bit right here. Um... I don't know, though. I guess it's kind of cool. Or we could just go with this guy and do this. There we go. That's actually really nice. Lovely. Okay, so from there, let's go ahead and go ahead and get ourselves some fenders. There we go. Go ahead and raise them up to the right height. Hopefully, we can actually do that somewhat. There we go. Awesome. And go ahead and uh, bring the separation in so that it fits. Uh, I might have to lower it down slightly in order for this to actually work. Uh, but there we go. That looks pretty good. The rear offset, we're going to go ahead and bring forwards, so just go ahead and do this. And the front offset, we're going to go ahead and take backwards, so go ahead and do this. Uh, we're then going to go ahead and add one of these guys to the front end. Go ahead and actually angle it outwards. Yes, and leave it like that. That looks awesome. That actually looks really cool. Um, with that being said, let's go ahead and change the middle section to look like... I guess like that would actually be really awesome. So we might actually keep that. 
maybe. Sure. All right, so with all that being said, let's go back to mobility. Yes, go to the tracks. Go ahead and drop this guy down, drop these guys down, and also drop this one down a little bit too. There we go. And uh, we're also going to make the thickness of the tracks actually go upwards, and that is awesome too. Go to compartments, select all of it, bring it upwards slightly. There we go. Uh, we're then going to go ahead and move this guy upwards as well, if I can. Uh, oh, just like so. Excellent, eh? That's actually pretty good. Yeah, we'll leave it there. And we're also going to go ahead and bring the fenders up as well, because I feel like we should. So, height of these guys, go ahead and bring it upwards to about there to match it. And that looks like it works. Yeah. Alright, so, uh, with this being said, let's go ahead and go to crew, go to viewports, and go ahead and put a driver's seat directly on here, right in the center. We're then going to make this guy a little bit bigger, as shown right there, and that is kind of all we need. There we go, so we can now move. We're going to have a big old engine in this, and, uh, yeah, it's going to be awesome. Okay, so the engine piece needs to be defended. Let's go ahead and grab this guy right here, and extend it out to the sides. That doesn't actually change anything other than the uh, the size of the gap in the middle, so we'll leave it just like so. Then, let's go to engine. It is going to be in this little bit in the middle, um, and essentially it's going to be protected by the sides. Uh, I quite like the idea of this, so we're going to go and smash that in there like so. And we're also going to go ahead and put another one in just in front of it, just like that. There we go. That is quite a big little, uh, quite a big little thing. Uh, right, go ahead and attach this guy into here as well. One big old fan. And that is awesome. As for the exhausts, um, not entirely sure where to put these guys, but I am thinking just on the back like this, uh, and extend it out through the tracks. That'll work. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so what else do we actually have to do then? Um, I'm going to go ahead and quickly decorate this thing. Uh, I'll go ahead and time lapse it for you guys so it's not too boring, and then we're going to go ahead and get it working, and hopefully this thing will demolish the enemy. Alright, so I've added a bunch of detail to it, as you guys already seen, which is awesome. We're gonna go ahead and go to liveries now, and we're gonna try and figure out what kind of, uh, what kind of, I, I guess, livery we want. Uh, I quite like that, which is very, very strange. Uh, but it looks sort of nuclear to me, which is kind of, uh, kind of cool. Um, grime, if we go ahead and increase that, roughness, yes, and also metallicness, um, that might actually be really cool. I know it's very strange, but it might be kind of cool. Uh, but no, let's go ahead and continue through and see what kind of other shades we can do. Uh, a blue tank would be weird, but sure. Um, I actually really like that color as well. That would be awesome. Um, but again, I don't know whether we should. I'm not sure. Let's go with it. Let, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and make this guy Swedish. Here we go. And we're going to go ahead and shove this onto here like this. Go ahead and make that a little bit smaller, and it is just going to go right there. We're also going to go ahead and shove this uh, on the front end as well. Just tiny little Swedish flags. Here we go. Uh, right here. There we go. And um, little small ones. Bosh. There we go. Okay, cool. It's weird, but it's cool. Okay, so it now weighs 82 tons because of the armor that I've actually just put on this guy. Let's go and have a little look at this. So it is 75 on the sides. It is 140 all the way across the front end because I feel like 
Uh, that is where most of the enemies are going to be, especially if we go one versus one, and uh, I think that'll be awesome. So, let's go ahead and actually try and put a round in this. I think it will only be able to fit one, um, but maybe two, I don't know. So let's go ahead and shove one in, uh, and let's just make sure it actually works. So go ahead and put it in here like this. Don't ask me how you reload it, I guess you can just reload it like you would a really old-fashioned cannon from the front. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and see what this does. Okay, this is going to be sick. It's going to be so cool. Okay, so the last thing that we need to do then is go to mobility, go to engine, and essentially just make it absolutely massive. Uh, so 12 cylinders, 4 liters, okay, let's go with... let's just go with that, that's fine. Uh, upshift and downshift, we're going to go to 2000 on this. There we go, and 1000 on that, go. Okay, it moves! It moves! Okay, I didn't realize this, but it now actually weighs 100 tons. This thing is 100 tons of weight. Uh, it is now a one versus one fight. So let's go ahead and see if we can take on the King Tiger. Okay, can I turn my lights on on this map? For some reason, I can't. Okay, fine. <laughs> fine, we have now been hit by the King Tiger. Let's go ahead and continue down the road. Uh, the one thing that I feel like is going to be a big issue on this... Um, oh no, yeah, okay, that wasn't the one thing, but actually, that is something that is an issue. <laughs> okay, can I see the King Tiger? Where is it? Can't actually see it, but we were just tracked. That is an issue. To war! Okay, right, so this time I have gone ahead and fixed the, uh, the track issue and uh, made them absolutely massive. Hopefully this time, when it shoots at us, it, we will not get tracked. Okay, we didn't. Okay, excellent. And now let's get ourselves lined up for a shot. Okay, here we go. This might be quite tricky. So, aim. Oh, it got me before I could fire. Yikes. So, my issue is that I've got actually quite a lot of flat bits on the front of this thing. Um, but we're going to go ahead and try again. Here we go, guys. Here we go. All right, let's see how this goes. So, we're going to get to the top of this hill, and we are going to go ahead and fire our little... Uh, I guess it's like a mortar, essentially. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. So, get to the top of the hill. Aim. Here we go. And... Turns up. Oh, this keeps happening! <laughs> That's so annoying. Okay, I'm gonna change the flat areas to be less flat. Let's go ahead and grab these guys. Go ahead and extend them forwards like so. Okay, that is way less flat. And we're gonna go ahead and grab these guys down here and send those guys backwards. Again, that is less flat as well. Now we have rarely or barely any flat areas, so we should be good. Okay, we're actually gonna do this a little bit differently. So I've spawned it in on the railway map, and it is a 1v1 on the railway map. Instead of the crossroads, just so we can actually see what's going on. Clearly, you wouldn't actually have a blue tank. And actually, I really want to come up with a custom livery for this. So, actually, I'm going to go do that really quickly. And then I'll be back with you guys. And then we'll do the fight. Okay, so our new livery is going to be this. Uh, that is not in the right colors, but there you go. So it is uh, weird, sure, but we can scale it up and we can scale it down. Uh, that actually looks pretty weird to me, but I kind of like it. I don't know, there's a lot of blue on there, um, but I think that's fine. Brightness, we can go ahead and increase a little bit, there we go. Um, roughness, I guess we can leave the same. Metallicness, if we bring this down, oh, I don't know. We're gonna go with that, we're just, we're just gonna stick with it. Um, it's not quite how I planned it to be, but at the same time, I think it works. Sure. Alright guys, here we go, we are going into battle with our boom boy. Uh, it's a little bit strange looking, but uh, <laughs> I guess that's fine. Let's go ahead and send it and see what we can uh, we can do with it. Now, we do need to find the enemy, which uh, might be a bit of an issue. Um, and what I actually wanted to do with this thing as well is actually be able to drive essentially right up to the enemy. Uh, pretty much touch, touching the enemy tank and then go ahead and blow it away. Whether I'm actually able to do that or not, I'm not sure. Um, also, I am using AP rather than APHE, which um, is... Probably wrong, actually. I should have changed that, too. Right, row I can see the enemy tank on the horizon. There it is. It is going to start shooting at me any second. In fact, it has already started shooting at me. But we are okay for right now. It missed again. Okay, very nice. Let's go ahead and continue forwards. We are both driving directly towards each other. That's pretty spooky. I'm not going to shoot until I am touching the enemy tank. That might lead to my death, but we'll try. Here we go. It's gonna shoot again. Oh, weakness. Weakness! Alright, here we go. Okay. Okay, oh, uh-oh. <laughs> uh-oh, uh-oh! Right, here we go. 
It's gonna shoot me. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> I just died. Yikes. Okay, I made some minor modifications. We have changed it to APHE now, so when we fire, there will be a round going in that is gonna explode big time. I also actually uh, extended the length of the propellant as well so that it gives it a little bit more oomph as it goes out of the barrel. Now, to be fair, the barrel is tiny, so uh, it doesn't really change it all that much, but um, it's fine. We're gonna go ahead and ram this enemy tank. We're gonna blow it up, and hopefully it works this time. Okie dokie, what's that coming over the hill? Is it a monster? No, it's a tiger! Okay, right, that was silly. Oh, we just took around to the face. Okay, let's go ahead and continue in. Here we go. Oh, they're actually trying to land shots this time. Whereas last time they were just pretending. Okay, come on. Let's go ahead and squeeze through here. Hopefully there's no rocks on the other side. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, up and over we go. Nice. Oh, okay, that was a round to the face. All right, let's go ahead and try and drive past and then scoot sideways into it. And, uh, oh, I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm stuck. Oh, the land here is not that flat. Okay, let's go sideways into this boy. And blow him away, hopefully. All right, here we go, turn. I'm stuck. I'm stuck on the side of the hill. Reverse. Okay, it's coming for me. Now go forwards. Aim. Aim. Fire. Yes. Okay. I mean, it works. It's just not quite right. <laughs> you know, it works, but it's not quite right. So, our 600mm Claymore. Uh, I'm going to call it the Claymore. Uh, I think it's kind of cool. As soon as you get too close to it, it blows you away. I like the idea of that. Um, actually works. What we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and test it out against something a lot smaller and see if we can actually fire it away. Okay, so that thing right there is an 18 and a half ton tank. Let's go ahead and drive towards it. It is also driving towards me. And uh, let's see what we can do with it. Okay, it just died. <laughs> it just rammed me and died. Oh, that's not right. Okay, but it still gives us a chance to actually try and fire it away. So let's go ahead and aim upwards as much as possible. Here we go. And uh, we'll try and blow it away. Three, two, one, fire! <laughs> yeah, okay, I think that's fine. I think it works. That is uh, amazing. Okay, so I spawned in one of those tanks without any crew. We're going to go ahead and try it again and see if we can launch it even further this time. All right, guys, here we go. Let's go ahead and ram it, essentially. Here we go. And uh, I, I want to ram it harder. Okay, let's try and ram it harder than that so we can get sort of underneath it. And then we'll try and launch it. I think this is going to be sick. Charge the enemy! Yes! Okay, go, 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 go! Ram it! Fire! <laughs> okay, that is um, amazing. That worked exactly how I wanted it to. Fantastic. All right, so yes, that does actually work. That is amazing. Yes. Uh, okay, well, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here for now. Let me know in the comments down below whether you guys want to see more videos like this one or if you want me to change it up for something else. Also, I did just realize um, the tracks are actually coming through this now. So let's go ahead and quickly modify that. Here we go. Front offset. Bosh. There we go. Uh, let's go ahead and call it the 600 millimeter Claymore. Is that how you spell Claymore? I don't know. You might spell it differently. I'm not sure. Uh, but there we go. Nice. Anyway, for now, I'm going to go ahead and say thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.